All right, this is Chris with Quadricopter here with the DJI Matrice 600. Uh, today in this video, we're going to be going over the initial unboxing and the various parts that will be included with your DJI M600. Uh, I'll go over uh, what each part is, uh, what it's used for. And later in the video, I'll go over the initial assembly of the copter, because um, there is some assembly that will be required before you can use this. And finally, I'll go over an initial power up and setup of your copter, uh, getting it ready for your first flight. All right, so we'll start off by taking it out of the box, and uh, here it is. I've already broke the seal. Opens up like so. First thing you will notice is your disclaimer and guidelines. There's also a small pamphlet in here that can point you in the right direction for the online user manual. A hard copy manual is not included with the M600, so you'll have to reference the DJI website for that PDF. First things you'll probably remove from the box here are the landing legs on either side. After you remove those, you can finally take the center hub out. This is the center portion of the copter here. Underneath this uh, protective cover is the flight controller itself. Uh, it comes standard with the new DJI A3 flight controller setup. Uh, each one of these bays will hold the battery. There's a total of six batteries that are required to fly the M600. Underneath, you'll find the bracketry for your various gimbal setups that are available for the M600, as well as a couple connections to connect the gimbals that you're going to be using. Uh, all right, so we'll set this off to the side. I'll go over a little bit more detail um, regarding the craft uh, a little later on. Next, we're taking out the remote controller that comes with the M600. You'll notice a couple things about it. It does have DJI's kind of satin black color to it. Otherwise, very similar to what you can find on the DJI Inspires, as far as uh, the landing gear switch. The various buttons on the controller are very similar. Antenna system. One thing you'll also notice on the back here uh, included is your USB port, your HDMI port, and a 3G SDI port as well. Comes standard on these controllers nowadays, as well as your C1 and C2 port, uh, buttons. Underneath the controller, you have a couple packets that you can take out here. This first packet in my hand here houses the GPS, as well as a couple connectors, uh, various uh, adhesives, uh, double-sided tape, the mast for the GPS, a um, couple other things to attach this to your copter. Second in the bag is a couple of uh, spare parts, uh, namely the connectors that can go on the booms. Uh, a couple various screws in here, things you might need to attach your different gimbals or uh, for spare parts that you might need in the future. Next we're taking out the two battery chargers. These were found underneath the center hub. There's one on either side here. Pretty much your standard DJI Inspire that you're familiar with. Comes with two of these on either side here. They're both exactly the same. Next we're going to be taking out the charging hubs. Comes with two of these. These are four bank charging hubs that plug into your DJI chargers, allowing you to attach theoretically eight M600 batteries to these, these hubs. The, these hubs do charge one battery at a time. They take the highest voltage, charge that one up first, and then move on to the next. So right out of the box, a, a set of dead batteries can be charged uh, two at a time. In these packets here, you'll find the landing gear uh, servo setup. There will be two of these. In 
And finally, we're getting down to just some small things like a power connector for the, for the chargers. Two of those. Got a couple booms on either side here for the landing gear. And finally, a couple other sets of carbon booms. And I believe that completes the top level of the unboxing. So we remove out this top shell where all the parts were in. and set this off to the side now. And below you will find the six batteries as well as the booms with the included propellers on them. So first I'm going to start by just taking the, the batteries out. The ones that ship with the M600 are the TB47S. These are 4500 milliamp 6S batteries. Um, so they're just under 100 watt hours. Comes with six of those. The operation is exactly the same as a Phantom or an Inspire. The double click method for turning the batteries on. DJI will be offering the TB48S, which is a higher capacity battery for these M600s in the near future. Now we're going to start taking some booms out here. All right, so looking at the boom, we have a couple of notable features here. It does come with a little prop lock. This is just kind of a foam protector. Pops off like so, slides out. And this just basically keeps your propellers together and locked in just for uh, keeping them compact. These are a two-piece propeller that swing out, just like that. These are 21 inch propellers, ultra carbon. The boom is included onto a separate ESC, much like you'd find on the S800s, 900s, and 1000s. Uh, it's a self-contained ESC set up underneath the brushless motor. On the end of the carbon tube, you'll find a couple connectors here, namely a positive negative lead for the ESC and the communication plug uh, to talk to the ESC and control the motor. The other five booms will be fairly similar. A couple of these differ in the color on the bottom and they are numbered. For instance, this is number five. The first one I took out right here is number six. So you'll have to take note of that when you're assembling the, the booms. The five has to go into the five hole, six, and so on and so forth. It's important not to mix that up. A couple of these booms, you will notice, have a red anodized metal ESC enclosure here. Uh, this, is, this aids in directional. So when you look up into the sky at your M600, uh, the front two booms will be red. All right, I believe that concludes the unboxing of the M600 itself.